What's up guys? Ethan from OK Adventure. This is the video part three, swarm trap modification experiment. All the data and information is in. I wanna get this video out to you guys before the swarm season starts. You may have already started down south. Let's hope not. Let's hope you haven't built any bee buckets. That all being said, uh, I've had a lot of fun doing this experiment. It has been pretty interesting. I figured out a lot of information on this uh, swarm swarm trap. I'm gonna call it a bee bucket in this video. I figured out a lot of information on this bee bucket. Uh, got a lot more data on some more modifications I'm gonna try this season and some of what I tried previous season. I'll go over all that in a little bit and some of the mistakes and flaws and things I'm gonna change this year. All right, first of all, let's talk Let's talk bee buckets. So I, I, I've done multiple experiments all running at the same time. The first experiment was hole positioning. So this is my original bee bucket design with the hole directly under this first lip uh, prevents a lot of rain getting into the bucket i had a lot of people comment on my video of making that about what about putting holes in different part of the bucket so i tried that so i did five with the top five right here and five at the bottom in the middle that way I get a good variation of different hole position. I didn't think any holes in the top would be at all good because of the rain and the weather and all that. That being said, guys, I didn't catch any bees at all in this bottom design or down here. It just didn't seem to work. This seemed to be the natural position for the bees to enter the bucket and come right into the top of the slip here. I did have one uh, in this video over here on link that was combed on the bottom of the bucket here and did not enter into the bee bucket at all. I did cut those off, but I had zero enter through this section at all. And I had two that came in here. Guys, this is a brief test. And uh, there's a lot of variation of location. I didn't put any of these side by side in the same location. I may end up doing that this year just to see if the whole positioning may affect it uh, going forward. Also, I, move, I, put, I put a lot of these in places I have not ever put any traps. So there could be no bees in the area. I'm going to move some of these around. I'm going to make more of the same variation. Currently, I would say continue with this top hole design. Uh, do not think either of these may work. Okay. Now, I did have some other bees that decided to swarm to this. But we had a really rainy year in the spring. And when a swarm moves in... You know, sometimes they just move right back out depending on when the rain's coming in and out. So I did have some that had comb inside. I had two that had comb inside. Again, these were both this top entrance. And I had another one that had comb out here on the face of this because I waxed the face of it. There was comb on the face of this. Again, top entrance. So overall, looks like this is the way to go. Now. I did do another variation of height. So I put four of these on the ground and it was this entrance here that was on the ground. I put, I put multiple of them this high. So literally right here at my face. So let's say the top of this bee bucket is gonna be sitting between five and six foot it was all variant upon where the tree branch was in the tree so five to six foot and then i put another third of them ladder tall you know 15 feet 15 feet in the air and what i've came to find is it don't really matter as long as this thing is not on the ground 
you're going to catch bees. The more of these bee buckets that are found by bees seem to between the five to six foot range. I did only have one that was in 15 foot high that had bees come to it. It's the one where they built on the face of it. They did not stay in it. They only came to it and left. So again, five to six foot range. Do not put these on the ground. I have yet to catch bees with this on the ground. I'll probably just get discontinue that this season because I have a lot of buckets out and putting them on the ground and not catching bees and working. So I'm just gonna put them back at five to six foot range. And so I did catch some hives in these. Uh, so I think a total, let's say all counting the ones that were forming on the outside and the inside, the, you know, the upscounds, all in total, the amount of swarms I caught was eight. Eight of them with upscounds and uh, the ones that I actually were able to physically get home and survive. So I've cut eight out of this with a total of 20 out. That's not bad. That's actually, that's a pretty good amount. So, I mean, who, who's going to pass up eight free? Well, it's actually four. So four of that I brought home. So four free, basically, uh, nukes, cut out nukes. That's a, that's a pretty good deal. I mean, this is like a, so... Uh, all the 16 that I built, all I bought was this piece right here, this lid. And you can see this one actually has some bees in it. But this is all I bought here. This oil can, hydraulic oil can, found on the side of the road. Farmer threw out, washed it, double washed it, painted it, painted the top lid, put it together, drilled a hole. This one was four foot off the ground, caught bees in it. Took a little bit to go. It took until May, I checked it in June. Um, so it took a little bit for this one to catch, but it works. And I've used cracked buckets that I duct taped up, bees got in them. Old buckets, only thing I would say not to use is anything that would have any kind of pesticides or like uh, like really bad chemicals that may leach into this bucket and then leach into your comb. I, I wouldn't use those. I don't I don't see any reason why hydraulic fluid would be bad and the bees didn't seem to mind it at all. Now, modifications that I'm gonna do this year is more holes. So this is one from that uh, uh, why are they swarming video. And what had happened is it got so hot in here that that comb had fell off into the bottom of this and created a mess. So I will bring a drill bit on every one of these I checked in the first of the season and I will drill twice as many holes in the bottom of this. Currently there's only four here and four on the top. So I'm gonna go with eight on the top and eight on the bottom. I don't wanna go too crazy because then, you know, the just may be too drafty in here. I just, Try to speed up the you know the amount of air that can circulate through this. So guys, stay with this top entrance for now. I have to say that this is the best style. Set these in a five, six, seven foot range. There's no need to get a ladder out. Do not set these on the ground. I will say that if you watch my original video of creating this, make sure you add an additional four holes to the bottom so a total of eight holes on the bottom and I, I punch these on around the outside and eight holes on the top and I put them underneath one of these lips to create good ventilation through this bucket continue with painting them the same remember yellow wax if you haven't watched that video the videos up here yeah guys uh, I will continue with these. I will most likely find, you know, another 10 buckets on the side of the road. I've already seen three that I'm about to pick up and I'm going to continue making these. You know, I like to have at least, you know, 20, 30, 40, possibly 50 out in a couple years. If any of you guys currently watching that have any ideals of some new experiments, throw them in the comment section below. Put down there, you know, I can go find another 10 buckets and, and do an easy experiment and then add on to my current buckets. 
you know, it wouldn't be too hard. Any different idea, I'm possibly going to try just some lemongrass oil. Because I see a lot of you guys from other countries that cannot get any uh, Swarm Commander. So, lemongrass oil. I may try something just like out of the blue that, that could possibly check, catch bees. This wax right here and these, uh, these old... Uh, once they live in this, this thing comes a hotbed for a new hive to move into. So don't ever scrape this stuff off. Leave this wax in here as much as you can. All this propolis down in here. Guys, get out there and start an adventure.